Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. It's Eric from the MMG. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your very own Arc Survival Ascended dedicated server. This is going to be for Windows and this is going to be a dedicated server. So this is one that you're not going to play on. You're just going to host the server itself on. Start out with, we're going to be using Steam CMD. If you don't already have that installed, you can just Google it. Easiest way to do it. Uh, type in Steam CMD. It's going to be this first link right here for the Valve developer community. Click on that. We are doing Windows again, so you want to click on Windows. And then the download is just a little one right here to download it. I've already done this, but if you haven't, you'll have to unzip it. I recommend you make your its own folder somewhere very, very easy for you to find. So I've done this, and this is a shortcut. I have it directly on my C drive, and this is this is what yours is going to look like, except it's only going to have Steam CMD in it. If it's your first time, you want to double click on it to execute it. It's going to download files and fill up this folder for you. Once it's done, you should be at a prompt here that looks like Steam with a just a Steam there. And you, we're going to log in using Anonymous. So just type in login space Anonymous. Hit enter. You see it verify and log you in. Then you'll be back in another prompt. Now we're going to actually download the game files themselves. So we're going to type in app app underscore update space and then you need the ID for the uh, arc ascended. Now make sure you're getting the right one. Um, it is two four three zero nine three zero. Then you want to hit enter. And you're going to see it's going to actually start downloading the files for you. This game is pretty big so it may take a little bit of time to download. While we're waiting, make sure you hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. That, All right, everybody, once it is done downloading, it should say successful app, fully installed, and you should be back at the Steam prompt. And you just need to type in exit to close out the window. Hit end. All right, next up, we're going to create the dot .bath that's going to update your server and also start the server itself. Um, so how this works is you, just, you need one to right-click, go New, go Text Document, Name it, uh, you know, arc start or something, whatever you want, doesn't matter. Arc start, whatever. Delete out the dot text. Oops. Make it a dot bat or dot bat. Hit enter. It's going to ask if you want to change the file type. So, yeah, yeah, you do. And that should look like this. If for some reason it still says dot bat dot text, uh, just open a Explorer window like I have here, a file explorer, go to view. And then right here where it says file name extensions, make sure you have a check mark there that will let you edit the type of file in the name itself like we just did there. All right, and once you have that file created, you're gonna actually wanna create another file down here, the arc server updater.bat. Um, do it the exact same way you did the arc start.bat. And um, we're gonna move these around. So right now they're on the desktop just because they're easy to reach. First, we're gonna look at the updater.bat. So right click on it, you can do edit. If you have Notepad++ or if you are interested, it's a free download. It's really good for editing. You can also use regular Notepad, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and this is the code. I'm going to put this in the description of the video below. You can just copy it out. What this is doing is this is going to launch steamcmd.exe, log in anonymous, do the app update, and then quit. So that's exactly the first steps we did to download the files. What this does for you is it updates your server. That's why it's called updater.com. Let me show you what that looks like. Um, first, though, we need to put it in the right position. So we're going to right click on it, hit cut. We're gonna go back to our Steam CMD folder. So this is the folder that you originally unzipped Steam CMD or you ran run CM, Steam CMD from. So wherever that folder is, and you're gonna to wanna to actually paste this in the base of that folder. So it's in this exact same spot that the Steam CMD.exe file is. And then you wanna double click on it. And it's gonna open your window and it's gonna go through all the steps that we did initially. And what this does, like I said, is it updates your server for you. And even if there's not an update, it will verify the files that are installed for you. So that's kind of a nice step. Um, and it won't take very long to verify, just maybe a minute or so. Once it's done, it will just auto close just like that. Now we're gonna look at our arc start server.bat and we're gonna wanna do the exact same right click on it. We're gonna cut it. Now we're gonna go into the same folder. Then we wanna go into Steam Apps, Common, Arc Survival Ascended Dedicated Server. Shooter game, binaries, Win64. This is the location right here. And you want to paste it in the same folder that the arc ascended server.exe is. So we're going to right click and go paste. Yes. And 
So now we're going to look at this folder and I'm going to put, I'm going to this file and I'm going to put this text in the video description as well. Show you what this is doing. This is opening it, um, launching the start arc ascended server to exe, the island, listen. Okay, so multiple home equals your local IP address. You want to enter your local IP address for your dedicated server. So this is the internal IP that that your server is getting from your router. So this is going to be um, 192 something. Like that's going to be the first octate because it's your internal router. Unless you have special routing set up where it's not 192, but that's what most people's will be. But you need to find the local IP. This will go in here. Next up is your ports and your your uh you need to get these open on your firewall and your router otherwise people are not going to be able to connect externally to your server i get that question number one everybody's router handles for porting differently and so if i showed you on mine it would only help the people who had the exact same router i have which is not very many people so you're gonna have to google this you're gonna have to figure this out on your own it is the hardest step and it's where most people get stopped um, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but if you can't do this, you probably shouldn't be running the server anyways. I've had people say they put their, they just put their server on a DMZ, which means they took the firewall off and opened it up to everybody. Please do not do that. That's very dangerous. Um, malicious actors can get on your server very easily that way. So don't do that. Take your time, do this right, open your ports. It's going to take a little bit of grunt work. It's not easy, but it, you'll, you'll be a better person and know how to run your own servers from there on out once you learn it. So make sure you take your time and do it. You uh, have some other things you can turn on and off. Battle Eye is their uh, cheat protection, force response, crossplay. Crossplay is going to allow other people to connect to your server from like Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Epic Game Store, different stuff like that. Public IP uh, is, it says it's for Epic. I don't know how true that is, um, but you do want to put your public IP address in here to be safe. So that is a lot easier to find. You can just Google what is my IP. And it's going to pop up whatever your your outer facing IP address is. You want to put that in here. Okay. So once you're good there, just hit file and save. And it's going to save your file. Now when you double click on it and run it, it's going to pop up this window. Or it should. If not, something else is wrong with your server. You may be missing some kind of file that you need. Always recommend you update your server with the latest .NET updates from Microsoft and uh, VB, Visual Basic Updates too. Uh, a lot of times that will fix a lot of people's issues. But if this is this is what you're getting, this is what you want, you can see it is start, starting up. It can take a little bit of time, so be patient. Uh, let it finish completely loading. All right, so once the server has ran for the first time, you can hit the X to close it. And next we're going to go and actually edit some more of the settings in the server. So you want to go back to where your arc start.bat is, um, and you want to back out from there. You want to go to the save folder which is in uh, common Arc Survival Dedicated Server Shooter Game Save now, because that's the server you just did. You want to go into Config, Windows Server, Game User Settings.ini, and you're going to edit those. This is where you can change some more settings on your server. Uh, mostly the thing I want to show you is the server name. Scroll down to the very bottom. You're going to see Session Name. This is where you can put the server name. So mine's called MMG. You can also change your max players. There's all kinds of settings in here. There's one for password somewhere in this mess. So yeah, you just got to search through all the settings. Change what you want. Be careful you don't break something. Um, and once you're done setting all that up, hit File, Save. And then make sure you launch your server again. Then once it's got successfully booted itself up, when you launch into the game itself, which is going to look like this in the server browser, all right, and once you are here, if you, you want to make sure you click, click on unofficial up at the top, and then you go to the search bar there, put in the name of your server. Ours is MMG. We hit search. There is our server. Now to join it, just click on it, and then hit that join button, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you have any additional questions, join the ARC official server and ask them there. Have yourself a great day.